hi guys in this video i'll show you how to navigate from one page to another page in ionic 4 so let me create a ion button here Add a click even to make sure that thing works. Okay. So if you don't know about how to add buttons and what are the different options to it, uh, check my previous tutorial on buttons. Okay. So here uh, we'll be adding that function. Whenever uh, button is clicked. It will display a message button is click. Uh, so if I run this code, and go to console. When I click the button, you can see button is click message. So now the button is working. Uh, so uh, once when we click a button, we have to navigate to another page. So for that, let me create another page using a young Nick generate page uh, with the name Heroes. So it will create a folder named heroes and add all the necessary files in it. So if you look at the app routing module.ts, you can see here it created a extra path and name it as a heroes. Okay. So we can use this path name to navigate to this page. Uh, there are multiple ways uh, you can navigate on the page uh, that always based on what you want to do after you navigate to that page means uh, do you want to pass any data to it or you just want to navigate to that thing. In this tutorial I uh, will show you how to just navigate on the following tutorial I can show you how to pass the data also. Uh, so instead of click button uh, we can add another attribute named as href and we can specify the name of the page here so if I reload it um, save it again sorry to just open on that thing So when I say click here, you can see heroes, uh, which is a added here. If I add something, this is heroes page. Sorry. Um, let me restart this thing again. So if I go back here, you can see a button. When I click it, you will come to heroes page. Okay, this is one way to navigate to it. Uh, so this is easiest way to do it uh, but uh, if you want to do programmatically I mean using some function you can just uh, use click event and add a function to it uh, you can use uh, module named as a router uh, go to heroes.page.ts import a router module from angular slash router ok so whenever uh, 
sorry uh, we are doing this thing in heroes.page instead we have to do that in home.ts so if you see the differences from here to here so whenever you created an app for the home page it won't create this constructor so we have to write the constructor here to inject any methods ok so first we will import the router module here in, within the constructor we will just uh, import the router module this router to navigate uh, there is one option named as navigate we can uh, one thing you have to remember is whenever you are using router.navigate you have to pass the URL as a list uh, so array uh, sorry list is from python <laughs> okay so just save it uh, remember the brackets here how to put square brackets so let me go back here we are navigating using function nothing happens okay so let's try it again Okay, something is wrong. Let me check it. Uh, okay, the click is in event, right? So we have to put as event. Now it will work. You can see a button is clicked, and we now get to this page. Okay. So you can also use navigate by URL, which you can just specify url or you can just specify without slash also in this way you don't have to uh, specify it as a list okay so i think it reloaded if i put click me we get a error slash uh, so if you, if you are coming from uh, if you are coming from ionic 3 uh, you should be familiar with nav controller uh, which is deprecated in ionic 4 but uh, you can still use nav controller so i will show both actually so import nav controller from ionic slash angular okay uh, this is angular slash router because we are using Angular router, this is ionic slash angular. Okay, there's a big difference there. So then we have to inject it here. So let me just put it like this. Go to public, uh, put as in our controller, our controller, and then let me create another button. Button to click. Say like console dot log button to click. Then this that nav controller that here you can say navigate power. Then here you can just specify heroes. We just uh, we need to add another button. Click me to let me just put it as click me to and I can just put this button to click. I hope that is what it is. Okay, button to click. So if we go back, we have click me to whenever if you click click me it will come here then okay. Click me to click uh, this button is based on router this button is based on navigate control so let me just add some more button here uh, in hero space uh, let me just uh, define that as a go back 
So here we'll be using router itself because I already defined router right. Public. So here you can say this dot router dot navigate. Remember we have to use list. Okay. Or uh, we need to go back to home. So here go to heroes page.html. So here we'll be creating a button. So we'll just name it as a go back. Add a click event to it. Just name it as a go back, put a parenthesis. So if you get a click me, this is a hero space, it will get a go back thing. Uh, then click me. All right. okay. That's it folks. Next tutorial, uh, I'll show you how to pass data from one page to another page. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.